Welcome to the DS Exchange Learning Centre. My name is Ray Werlod and I'll be presenting today on reading the score. The score is a, a very important part of data stage parallel jobs. It's your fundamental diagnostic tool. In this presentation, we'll get an understanding of why that is. And we'll see that there are various things that you can look at to explain and to understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so let's begin. When you create a data stage parallel job, you draw a picture of what you want to happen. And then somehow by magic, that gets spread over lots of different nodes in a parallel execution environment and stuff happens. Your data get processed in parallel. Is it best? Is it the right way? Well, in fact, what you design is not necessarily what happens. Firstly, there are some optimizations that may be made. And secondly, there may be some extra necessary components that you haven't put into your design so that at runtime, when the job design needs to be created in a parallel sense with the current configuration file, an extra step has to take place and that's called composing the score. The data stage parallel job starts and the first process that starts is called the conductor. We have this orchestra metaphor. So the conductor gets underway and ultimately will start up section leader on each processing node and those in turn will start up player processes to get stuff to happen. But before those section leaders get started up, the conductor process actually composes this thing called the score. Again, look at that orchestra metaphor still happening. And it will include the optimization, it will include any inserted operators that are necessary to make data stage work properly, but which you may have left out of your design. The score itself is taken from the generated orchestrate script, which in turn is produced by compiling your job design. But it also has to pick up the current parallel configuration file, which, among other things, specifies how many ways parallel, how many processing nodes are to be involved, and what resources are available, and perhaps the availability of node pools, disk pools, and various other bits and pieces. And it's this score that gets distributed to the section leaders and tells each section leader what it has to do. Exactly the same score is sent to all the section leaders and the number of section leaders is the number of nodes in the configuration file. So these controlling processes, the conductor and the section leaders, talk to each other and cause job designs to be turned into something that can be executed, and indeed, that is executed. When we look in the generated OSH, we see the orchestrate operators that have been specified by choosing stages in a job design. And indeed, we will see those operators again when we look in the score. But we may see some extra kinds of operators as well. We may get some additional operators inserted. We may get what are called composite operators, where instead of a stage generating one, it generates more than one operator. And we may see a phenomenon called operator combination, which is another optimization trying to reduce 
the total number of processes that are happening. So in this presentation, we're going to look at all of those things and come out with knowledge of how to understand what actually happens when your job runs, as opposed to what you designed to happen. It may not be exactly the same thing.